All right, what up, everyone? I know it's been a long time, but we are here with another episode of NorCal Geek Living. This time, I'm going to try some Korean chicken. Believe it or not, I've never had it before, so it's about time. This is the place I'm going to check out. It's called Tobang Yi. Let's get to it. Now, I don't know that much about Korean food, so I have no idea what's authentic or not. Please forgive me if I am mispronouncing anything. So I got the map talk half size. My dad's mom is from Sichuan, so spicy is just a way of life. This says spicy, so I'm going to put it to the test. All right, let's take a look at what I got here. So I got around 10 pieces of chicken, extra plate over here with some napkins, bottled water I did buy, and there's a bucket for the bones. And here's a closer look at the chicken. Just look at it, my goodness. Nicely glazed, not too much sauce. You're still gonna get your fingers sticky and you're still gonna go through some napkins though. I like that the chicken wasn't drenched in sauce, so it wasn't soggy. It was still crispy. The sauce was sweeter than I thought it would be, and I don't think it was very spicy. Not to what I'm used to. But it was so... And... Brings a whole new meaning to KFC. Yep, I'm a fan. All right, so that was my first time trying Korean fried chicken. I do have to say that the Mape Talk was absolutely bomb ass tasty. It was a little sweeter than I would have liked it to have been and the spice didn't really kick in until about maybe the six or seven chicken. Uh, that's when my nose started running. But the spice level, it's not that spicy. If you're ever in the Pleasanton area and you're going down Bernal Avenue, having to pass by the Cole Shopping Center, check out Tong Boy Yi. Highly recommend it. There it is. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.